<clears throat> All right, well, this is um, probably a little bit of a continuation, at least at the start right now, um, about the uh, recording production school concept, um, whether you should go, not go. Uh, the part I didn't get to yesterday was, what if you already went? Um, so if you already went to a production, music production school or I mean, I guess technically even a video production school or a college. And you're done and now you're thinking like, okay, what did that do for me? Uh, yeah, the, the reality is like, you just you have to just keep moving forward anyway. There's no point in looking back and trying to figure out what that did for you or what you got out of it. Sometimes these things to me, don't really show themselves until a situation comes up where you can go back on on your experience at school and say, okay, I can use that skill that I learned there. Now, if you didn't learn anything that's uh, relative to what you're doing now, um, that just is what it is and you gotta move on. I, I talked to several people over the past couple of years about those type of things and it, it's, I mean, there's, there's, there's countless pieces of software and um, <clears throat> plugins and music platforms that I've taken the time to learn that literally are almost at this point technically useless, but um, I still, you can still get something from it, even if it's something a little bit of like collateral learning, you know, you, you, you could take you could take a troubleshooting skill from what you learned and apply that to something going forward. Always, hopefully, going forward. Um, getting uh, back to the Spotify thing, I'm, I'm curious if if anyone else has any thoughts on it. And I never, really, I never really asked for comments or uh, feedback of my uh, unbelievable amount of listeners. But I'm interested to know what what you're listening on. Um, are you listening on Spotify? This is amazing. Today, in New York City, uh, a chainsaw. I mean, a guy is having a tree taken down, and it's February 8th or something like that. Uh, the sun is out, and I guess they think it's springtime. Or maybe maybe the snowfall has something to do with it. But, I mean, talk about going off on a tangent. Um, so that's it. This microphone is going back. Uh, via Amazon today. I'm getting a new one tomorrow. So I'm going to move on from this system, which was, uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, um, but I will trash it um, in a future episode. And I'm trying another no-namer um, starting tomorrow or even the next day, depending on when, when Amazon decides to deliver. And from there, I'm looking forward towards using maybe the Rode uh, new thing that's not available yet, new wireless that's not available yet. Um, for some of you people that have asked, I'm using the, the um, Osmo Pocket, the first one. And that's what does this annoying following me around thing where it looks like I almost have a camera operator, but I don't. Uh, today, the lighting is courtesy of a nice sunshine coming through the window and uh it's a little easier to deal with than trying to set up a light and everything like that in the other room um future episodes i will get into some of my studio setup uh and maybe even a little bit of like some of my workflow with some of the new things that i use and keep going from here thanks